doing? What do you mean what I'm doing? What are you doing? We got history, what are you doing there? I don't understand what you what you're saying. You coming with her, right, at my place of business yeah. to talk about what Carly Red said. Yeah, yeah. Right? To, to iron it out. No, no, this ain't ironing out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, this ain't, this ain't iron. iron. We can't this iron. This ain't iron. No, she can't iron nothing. Because all she does is this. You mad? I'm not I don't mad. I'm not mad. Yes, you did. It's Jocelyn. Jocelyn. You didn't Jocelyn. read the message. Why do I want to with a prostitute for? Oh, oh, that's what she was. Oh, 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 I called up my boy Benzino to try to get a, like a man's perspective on this whole scenario that's going on. It's killing me. So I know him for a long time, and I know that he'll be the best person to go to. So what happened? Man, I don't know what to do, man. I, 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 every time I try to speak to her, she's just screaming and hollering. Come on, what you expect? You know what I'm saying? Like, put yourself in her position. All of a sudden, you know what I'm saying? The artist that you're working, it, working with turns up pregnant. It ain't no easy pill to swallow, man. Like, now I understand. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? I made a mistake. Did you tell her that? I didn't get a chance to. All she wanted to do was scream and holler. All you got to do is say, I'm sorry. Within the time she's saying screaming and hollering. That's it. I'm sorry. I couldn't get past all of the mother in there. Man, you got it. You, more, yeah, oh. but you got it. But I mean, again, you know what I'm saying? Like, what do you expect? If, if I'm the girl didn't have feelings for you, then she wouldn't care. I know Mimi still loves me, but she has to understand this is the way I am. I love her. I love her to death. Ain't that enough? At the end of the day, I don't want to mess up, you know what I'm saying, any any relationship I got with Mimi, whether it's family, whether it's business. Yeah, well, you, you already did I mean? that. You already accomplished that. So now it's about how, like, how you going to get it back if if you want it back. See, that's what it is, Sleaze. You got to, like, really deep down, you you know, do you know what you want? You know what I mean? Because to me, honestly, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to get back on top. That's what I want to do. But all that takes a back seat because you constantly in some drama with some women. It's like you gotta you gotta clean your house up. Because really to be honest with you, it seems like, I don't know, it just seems like it takes away your focus from the music. Zeno's right. I got all type of going on and I'm forgetting about my music. You know what I mean? I'm forgetting about my business. I love Jocelyn, you know what I'm saying? I love Mimi, but at the end of the day, it's like I gotta focus on my business. You know what I'm saying? That's what got me here in the first place. Clean up your situation with Mimi, you know what I'm saying? If it's a thing where she says, look, she don't want you working with Jocelyn no more, well, you're gonna have to make that choice, because ultimately, can't none of that mess up all the stuff that's getting ready to pop off for you. You be a fool. You know what I'm saying? I wanna win, but at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? I want Mimi happy too, you know? Yeah, well, you know what I'm saying? If you want me me happy, you know what I'm saying? You gotta be monogamous, my brother. The word of the day is monogamous. Say it. Monogamous. Come on, say it together. Monogamous. Monogamous. <laughs> say monogamous. 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 Just keep thinking that. Monogamous. All right. So if you can do that with me. <laughs> yeah, I see you go. <laughs> I know I gotta do better, and I know I gotta do what I gotta do to make her smile, to make her happy, period, point blank. It's like, you know, when you love somebody, you just do the right thing by them, you know? And I do my best, but sometimes my best is just not good enough. You know? I just wanna get back to her being happy, you know? Her trusting me again. Yeah, but, well, then you gotta, you gotta keep your mother in your pants. You think you can do that? Please, you think you could be monogamous? Keep it 100, man. If you want her to gain your, your trust back, then you gotta, come on, you gotta really step up to the plate. Step up to the plate? Step up to the plate, my brother. Malcolm, yo, you have to come out here because I need you excuse to meet me. with CBJ. Hello, excuse me. How you doing? Hey, I'm gonna call you back. Hey. Can I talk to you for a minute? Sure. Hey, Doug, you wanna excuse me for a second? Hey. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. Carly. Zeno, nice <laughs> to meet you. Nice to meet you too. My name is Ben Zeno. A lot of y'all probably know me as the former owner of The Source magazine. I had songs out, Booty Rock the Party, a lot of stuff. But now I own Hip Hop Weekly. Yeah, I seen you in there. You're incredibly beautiful. Thank you. I saw you on stage with Stevie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing a thing like the band thing. Really? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Are you, are you from here? I'm from Trinidad. You're from Trinidad? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Man, that's why you're so beautiful. Thank you got you. that exotic thing going on. Thank you. <laughs> Zeno, got it. On stage, I put two and two together, and 
just right away there was a vibe, there was a connection. It's for some, I, I feel, I felt it. <laughs> You're gorgeous. I'm, I, Thank I, you. Do you have a man? I'm sure you probably got some money. <laughs> No, I'm no. totally single. What about you? No, no, I don't have anybody. Come on now, no, stop. Really. No, don't, no, don't make me blush, <laughs> definitely. No, I'm single. Antonio and I split up a while back. It wasn't a bad breakup. We just didn't have much in common. We're gonna remain friends, and I'm totally ready to play the field again. Think maybe I, I could, you know, we could go out or something? Take you out? I would love that. Really? Is that an invite? Yeah, of course, <laughs> if, you know, if you would like to. Yeah. I would love to. Well, maybe we could exchange numbers. Absolutely, let me get your number. Yep. He definitely makes me nervous. Benzino has a certain swag that I like. He's definitely my type. I guess I'll be waiting for your call. Okay, I'll text you. Yeah, it was great meeting you. Nice to meet you too. Gorgeous, man. Thank you, all right. <laughs> Make me nervous, kind of. <laughs> Take care, Carly. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> What's good, baby? Sleep. Oh, what's up, bro? Everything's good. Yeah, I'm There's a lot going on, Got you, man. you know, Ciroc Y, you know what I'm saying? Hey. Coco Loso, hey. I had to get with my man Zeno, you know, to talk about him and Carly. I hear he's feeling that. That's cool, but, you know, I don't know, bro. Hold up. What's going on with you and Carly? Crazy, yo. I, man, she came by the crib. Cooked the, you know, cooked the dinner, had Should the rolls. You know, I had the lobsters, asparagus, Oscar with the crab meat. Uh oh, uh oh. The homemade, you know, dressing and stuff. You know what's going on. Yeah, yeah. So, so she came in, gorgeous, man. Beautiful wow. dress. She's just humble, like, like no joke. She's a real humble person. She's smart, she's motivated. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna meet her family soon. Oh, wow. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. You yeah, know, we see sweet. where it takes us, but so far, man, everything is, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Mucho I, bueno. Yeah. If Carly's for Zeno, then cool. You know what I'm saying? But I need to holler at him about this Mimi and Jocelyn beef. Also, on another note, you know what I'm saying? Um, Jocelyn, the thing is, like, she threatened baby moms. She threatened baby's moms? Yeah. Can't have that. We don't do that, you know what I'm saying? So I addressed it. She wanted to go ham, so I walked away. Why would she, why would she, why would she be flipping out and sending threats? Like, for what? Are y'all still around? Occasionally, I take a dip back, you know what I'm saying? But it's I, those dips yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the problem, Sleep. It's over there. You sure? I'm positive. It ain't really no coming back from that one. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, so it's like, when you disrespect a man and his family and all that, you know what I'm saying? I, I only known her for so many months. Anyways. Anyways. Right. I'm never gonna lose Mimi over Jocelyn, over Halle Berry, Janet Jackson. I might get deterred, but I ain't never leaving my baby. How do you plan on getting Mimi back? I'm working on a plan. I don't really fully have a foolproof plan. I'm working on it. Well, well, what's, the, what's the temporary plan? What, what, what's your thoughts? Just want to get her alone with me. Get her alone? A what? Alone? With me. Yeah. With you. Just watch me. You all. You're going to like this one. This, this one? Yeah. She's she going to like it. She's going to love it. <laughs> I'll make you proud. Yeah? Yes. All right. Trust that. All right. The last time I saw Jocelyn, she was totally against us working together. So I was the bigger person. I called her up to cool down the tension. Because how are we going to make good music if we fighting all the time? What's up? So um, let me just get straight to the point. I bought you here today because every time we meet, you always coming at me on some rah-rah. Okay. You know, it's a little tension in the air. So I brought you here today so we can clear the air. How are we going to do that? We're going to be working together, obviously. Are we? I mean, if management likes it, then... Management likes it. You know how the industry exactly. works? Management. Okay, well, your manager can't agree with my manager if he's no longer my manager. Stevie's so, not managing you? He's still managing me, of course, but I'm doing more things for myself. So you still want to work with him as a producer for our song? You don't have to do a song with me because you can just work with Stevie. You can call him. What's the change of heart? I feel like I work better without Stevie on top of my back, you know? For us being personally together, I don't think it's going to work. Wow. You know, so. I'm shocked. I don't need Stevie at all, and I'm going to make it no matter what. So Carly want to go work with him? Be my guest. Now that you're telling me all this, I have to admit, I was right. Right about what? You were messing with Stevie J. But you wasn't right. Because I've never done anything in front of you for you to think that I was dating Stevie. You just assumed. You didn't see us do anything. 
thing. All I know is, at the end of the day, you were messing with Stevie. Why was you so worried about me messing with Stevie anyway? No, you I just want to mess with me. Tell me. Because you were so worried about me Why messing with me. I with Stevie. I don't, when, guess who I, I with? I don't know and I don't care. Benzino. You mess with Benzino? Where y'all started messing around? You met the studio? You look like you in love. So what went on? What do you think about him? You know, that's like my brother, because Stevie, you know, I love him. You know, but just make sure you do him right. Oh. Or you make will have sure a problem. Right. Oh, he gonna do you right, because he's a man. <laughs> just be happy. I'm happy for him. Be happy for me, too. I can't be that happy for you yet, because I got to see where we going with this, because I'm still mad at your ass. I know she's, like, real fake and phony, and she's from L.A. They all fake and phony. They always put on that front, eh, eh, my name's Carly, eh, bitch, shut up from the hood. But I feel like I should give her a chance because maybe she just has to be that way because everybody made her that way. I can still be mad at you, but I don't hold grudges. What happened, happened, and now we're here. So, you right. Oh. See now? Slaves. Slaves. What's up, man? Cool as poppers. Killing, man. Yeah. I I think it's going down. What's that? I got Mimi and Jocelyn to agree to go to council. Get out. No. <laughs> yeah, with Dr. Jeff. You Are know. You serious? I, I just I believe it's time that they understand where I'm coming from. Okay, so why in the hell would you want both of your chicks in the same room together? I know why you're going, but they're going there to find out which one is coming out there with Steve and which one is gonna go a because at the end of the day, it's about who you choose, and they know that, you know what I'm saying? So what do you plan to accomplish when it's all said and done? A winning team. I want everybody to win, yeah. I mean, if you could be with them both, and you could pull that shit off, yo. I'll, I'll leave. The champ is here. The champ is here. The champ is here. <laughs> <laughs> but if you can't, it'll go down in history as one of the most bumbling ups you probably ever did. At the end of the day, I have Mimi on this side. And I got Jocelyn on this side. We work great together. But if everybody could just zip it and let me control the show, it'd be lights, camera, action. Enough about that. What about you and Carly? You know, I was at the cigar bar the other day, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Called Dave the jeweler man, you know? The, ju the, the I, jeweler man? I, I went and copped that, went and copped them carrots, I went and copped that rabbit food. I think, you know what I'm saying? I think I'm gonna. Crazy. I think, hey. yeah, I think it's you going know, in. It kind of looks that way. I mean, damn, you know what I'm you saying? love enough to spend the rest of your life with her from here going forward forever and ever, ever, ever? I got the rabbit food. But you've been buying carrots for a long time. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, but it's different when it's on this on this finger. See that finger right there? Not that finger, yeah, this finger. finger. Right yeah. there. That's what they want. Mm -hmm. They don't want you to do that. They want you to do that. Right there. Oh, come on, man. I used to be like Sleezo, playing the field, just like a madman. It's hard to be monogamous. But at this point, I'm ready to take on a challenge. I'm ready to be a one-woman man. You know, everything else is going to be a blur. I think we can get this thing to pop, man. That's my girl, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm and happy. at the end of the day, if I want my thing, oh, come on, man. You you know, I'm riding with you. All right, all right, so I have to be there to clean up the mess anyway. Right, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. You know, you're going to be the best man at my wedding. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? No doubt. Right, to the end, man. To the end, baby. What's up, John? Where's Stevie at? He ain't here. He not here. Mm -mm. I went to Vincino's house to go look for Stevie. Because I haven't seen him since I punched him in a therapist's office the other day. And he's been staying there lately. I need some answers from Stevie. He's been playing me and Mimi. And I still want to talk to him about it. He tells me to go to counseling with him and Mimi. Right. And it only lasted literally two minutes. Because she said, well, I've been staying with him. Oh. I clicked and I punched that right in his You? Yes. Because I was just here with him the night before, having sex with him in the other room. Yeah, but sex is I you. know, sex is, sex is what? 
I mean, do y'all make love or y'all have sex? If y'all are having sex, that's a whole different story for making. We do everything. Love, sex, dirty sex, every sex. When you got into the situation with Stevie, you knew that he was with Mimi? Did you know that? No. He never told me he was in a relationship with Mimi. But look at though. At the end of the day, you're still going to have to deal with Stevie, whether it's going to be love, whether it's going to be business. And I don't, I don't know if you have the mental to separate the two. No, your homeboy doesn't have it. I have it. You ain't going nowhere. Oh, then you sound like him now. Stevie's in love with two women, but neither of them is really willing to walk away. Jocelyn keeps saying she's gonna move, Mom, but come on. We all know that she ain't going nowhere. I just don't see it. You ain't got to see it. I mean, you know. Because I don't like that because you know why? It's nasty. I just had sex with you in the room. We don't use condoms. You be lying to me about sleeping with Mimi. You disgust me right now. But you love him. How do I think it's not just the is good? Well, that is a type of love. Well, I can always find somebody else to put it down like that. He cares about both of y'all, and that's just how it is. You need to talk to your homie and let him know that I need my answers. Him, me, and Mimi gonna have to sit down again. And that's that. I'm tired of dealing with this But this time around, it's not gonna be no punching, because everything is gonna be on the table. See, that's the whole point of therapy, Jocelyn. Talk to him so he can't do it again, because you know he's a scary little bitch. I'm gone. Huh. I'm tired of talking about this But what about? No, talk to him, and I see him in therapist if he want to talk. All righty then, well, you have a good day. Damn. That's some ring them brothers Barnum and shit right there. How long can you do that? Till you tell me to stop. I don't know what it is, but strip clubs always seem to give me clarity. So I called up Sleezo. I told him, come on, man, let's go on out for a couple of drinks, man, and just, you know what I'm saying, really try to kick it with each other about all this female stuff. See, I told you about that therapy. I knew that wasn't a good idea. Well, you know, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm not trying to hide, so I'm gonna put it all on the table. Why do the therapy? And then after that, bounce. It's a billion words to say. You don't have to use your fist, you know what I'm saying? That's great. Yeah, but you gotta go back though, right? Yeah, we gonna go back to therapy. Okay, you got two girls. Obviously, you don't, you don't care for both of them. How do you get those two to, you know, come together, you know? In my perfect world, I can get them to work together. You wanna keep them both in your life. You wanna love them both. I'm in love with Mimi, and I'm in love with Jocelyn. All we need to do is get through one more session with Dr. Jeff, to become one with each other, and we can live happily ever after. So what's up with you, man? What's up with you and Carly, man? When I met her, I seen a lot of great shit about her, you feel me? But then as we go along, everything's about it, like her career and her managers, and like, you know what I'm saying? What about her career and her managers? It's just too much, like everything's about the career. Everything's about the career. You love her though. See, my love and your love, I think, is different. It's all the same, it's only one love. That's why I like to come here, because, you know, I'm trying to look for love, this don't help it none, you know what I'm saying? Me. I think things can work out between me and Carly, but she gotta stop this It seems like she just wants to talk about her and, and, and her grind. I know there's more to life than just that. To Carly Red. Carly Red. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, 8 o'clock. And make sure that he has a stylist, please, all right? Yo, what's good, fellas? Hey, what up, City? What's going on? Hi. What up, Z? Carly and Z, they're headed toward the chapel right now. I'm a little nervous now, because I don't want to see him backtrack or go through no extra drama to set him back. We moving up. We moving forward. So what's good with you, my G? Think good, you know what I'm saying? Just, just been contemplating, you know what I'm saying? Contemplating what? You know, about little mama. The thing thing? The thing thing. I got a big decision to make, whether or not to give Carly the ring and take our relationship to the next level or just move on. 
I just want to make sure I'm on the right page. Because, like, when you do this, you know what I'm saying, you got to do this for good. There ain't no turning back. And I want to make it happen. I just don't want to be no sucker, you know what I'm saying? It's like now it's just, I don't know, man. It's just I'm seeing little things that's kind of, like, making me, like, like, like little things like what? It can't be nothing that serious if you love shorty, you got to oh, whoa, the T word. And I don't want to come off as the jealous guy, but it's like every time she, she, you know, she wants to go to the studio late night, she don't call, and she'll just come back, and you know, the next day, and I, you know what I mean? I just, I don't want to go through that. I bought the ring, you know, I have every intentions I want to be with this woman for the rest of my life. But then, what if, you know, she's playing me, I've been hearing stuff about it with other guys, going on dates, and it was just all racing through my head at one time. Um, I just, you know what I'm saying, everything was Listen, like... Listen, man, you a made guy, man, you know what I'm saying? And it's a ton of women out here who want a made guy and a good guy. Hold on, hold on, Z, you know what I'm saying? You deserve nothing but the best, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's that. And if I find out she's doing anything crazy, man, she gonna have to deal with that, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's one of the hardest decisions, you know, I've ever made right now. It's like it's weighing on me. Wherever my heart takes me, that's what I'm gonna go. I've spent a lot of time thinking about this moment. Tonight's the night I'm gonna ask Carly Red if she would spend the rest of her life with me. It just comes a time in every man's life that it's time to step it up. This is the woman that I want to be with. This is the woman that I feel for. When you're with somebody that you really feel like this is it, it's like you're going to open your emotions and your feelings up. You're going to take your guards down. Well, here goes everything. Hey. Hey, dog. I'm good. You look nice. My situation with Zeno has gotten a little bit complicated. I moved out the house, and we don't talk like we used to. Right now, I'm interested to hear what he has to say for himself. You know, I care about you, and I love you. I know, like, I can be jealous. I know that. And, you know, I know, like, my temper probably flares up because of that, you know, but there's, like, nothing I wouldn't do for you. But you know that I definitely, definitely, sincerely, you know, fell for you. I have my doubts. I have my doubts. You know, if there was any doubts, I wouldn't have did that. I've had this for a while now. What are you saying? I mean, if you doubt and that I loved you, I'm trying to say that, does this show any doubt? Are you ready for that? Are you ready? I'm not ready. First thing she says, I doubt that you love me. I don't know how she can have doubts in me. I, I did everything I could to show her that I loved her. So right then and there showed me. And I just looked in her eyes and I just, I couldn't do it. I don't want this, you know what I'm saying, to be any more hard on me as it is. Why would you come and bring me a ring and then you don't even give it to me? I've Who does that? Nah, you f***ed up. But Zeno is a mother ass Who the brings a ring and then snatches that back? Who does that? You know what? You. You can use me, right? I'm not using you. But you I can't love use you. Me. You feel me? Me getting with you, Benzino, was a good look for you. Because I put you on. Because if you didn't get with me, you wouldn't be the you are now. That's it. We ain't rocking no more. Carly said she had her doubts. But in the end, Zeno had his too. Bitch, I'm so glad you came and took this walk with me. Oh, I get so stressed. <laughs> you look good, bitch. Oh, thank you. That's you. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. So, you know, it's been a minute since I hung out with all Carly Reed. And I needed to talk to somebody about Stevie. And I know she likes to gossip with her old ass. So I'm like, you know what? Let me call her up. Maybe she could tell me some good advice. I don't know. It's the same old story with Stevie. I'm just so stressed out by how all his controlling ways, girl. Everything revolves around Steve. So wait, he's still managing? Bitch, I can't, I don't have you can't the can't shake him. What the fuck am I gonna do? I don't have the contract. I wanna take control of what my contract. Co he got it. He wants to control everything. Everything got him up. Is he even producing music? Yeah, he's, he's so producing. talented. Most of the talented people be crazy. Tell me about it, Benzino, just... number one. What's going on with Benzino? <laughs> girl, I... <laughs> he wants to still date, and you know he wanna 
because, you know, I got some good stuff down here. You, you got know. rubies down there? Mm, diamonds. Oh, I got rubies. <laughs> I got diamonds. So he wants to get that cootie cat. Oh, yeah, but he ain't getting that, no. Because he not even cutting no checks, though. Hey, hold up. You know he told me he you. Are you serious? Um, Are you serious? On everything I love. First of all, why would I smash somebody that ain't got no neck? I need a neck. I need to lick on your neck. I need me a tall beast. I need me a strong. I'm a big girl. I got big boobs, big butt. I can't do nothing with no short man. I just met Vincino when I met Stevie. This I, but listen, he hit me on the DM on Twitter, Jaws. Six o'clock in the morning. I wanted to ask you about that. I'm like, why bitch, she ain't keep it bitch, real with me and something. tell me? You know what he did? I tried to spare him. Like a while ago, he was like, he showed me some porn or something. You know what you're doing, you're feeling yourself or whatever. He was like, yeah, I hit that. I hit that. And I'm like, oh, for real? Now, that's a lie. If you want to go ahead in there and lie on my do what you do. I don't I don't have time wow. for all that. But see, no, you, wouldn't, you don't have enough money to me. Messy? You don't have enough money. That's a messy money. ass. That's a messy ass. That's a messy ass. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Girl, I miss you. I miss you too, bitch. <laughs>
trash you to me all the time. Yo, that's, it, what, it, they do to, that's what they do to people they feel they brother. You know what I'm saying? They, they really? talk to them. So if I'm their brother, then how come I can't text them then? That, that ain't how you do at 6 in the morning? Uh -huh. You text them at 6 Yo, in the morning? Listen, first hey, of all, see my uh, hey, No, 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 no. There was no sexy in there. It said, hey, and I'm Jose. There was no sex. Come on, Sleaze. You could have came up here. We could have kicked it. You could have called me. You didn't want to. You chose to bring her. Yeah, I did. She runs her mouth. But Sleaze, she's going to get you in trouble. OK? She runs her mouth like she's some super star, like she Beyonce. She ain't If me and you can't put each other because of her, it, it ain't got Say nothing it. to do with her. We don't really? do that. So then we ain't brothers no more then, I guess, I'm, I'm right? I'm cool with that. All right, so then, that. All right, so then, 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 then that's what it is. That's what it is? I guess so. It's, it's, it's what you said, right. right? I just figured, you know, something else was going on if you did that at 6 in the what morning. It's got to be something. That's going your own on. conscience. That's your own no, conscience no, killing it's you. It's reality. It ain't that's, no that's conscience. That's your own conscience. I'm sorry. I don't need any friends around me that I can't trust. I got enough issue with these and I don't need my best friend trying to bang none of them. Sleaze, please. That bitch. Straight up. Done been through too much, Sleaze. There they go. Off in the sunset. There they go. <laughs> See you later. Bye, Justin Hernandez. How's it coming out, babe? Shit, boy, I sleep like this, baby. This is how it's coming out. Tonight, myself and my lovely wife are having Zeno and his girl over. You know, I'm a chef it up, courtesy of, you know, Chef Sleezo. Zeno hasn't been over to the White House yet, and I really want to meet this new chick that he's spending his time with. Z, what up? Sleeze, what up, man? How you doing? Althea, that's, that's my bro, Sleeze. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Sleaze. What's up, bro? Oh, hey, how you doing, bro? This is crazy, yo. You know, had to step it up oh, a little bit, man. you know what I mean? Up, yo, Kids you are room, man. Yo, the white room? Yeah, this is white and gold, this, this, you know what I'm saying? Damn, yo, this is bananas. My man Sleezo's living large. I can appreciate that he appreciates the finer things in life. Such as myself. Hey guys, Thank who's you, this pretty lady? Oh, hello. Oh, he's right. How are you? I love your house. I'm Joss. How you doing? Oh, Thank you. What's up, Joss? Hey, Beautiful brother. house. Yo. Congratulations. The house is hot. You made you? all of this? Well, well I made, helped too. I made the salad. David thought that he'll make you a nice meal because he said that you had somebody serious you wanted us to meet. Yeah. Where, where, where you guys meet us? I've known Zeno for a minute. He tried to front on me in the beginning, but... Huh? We kind of met on Twitter. It's like I started DMing her. Direct message. Yeah. Really, it was like direct. Mwah. So you see him and it was love at first sight. What was it when you first seen him? It was love at first sight. Ooh. So our first date was like, picked her up and, you know, she got a few properties, whatever. She do a little real estate thing, you know. Well, that's what I like about it. She got her own bread. I do got my own bread. Did you do anything nice for her? Yeah. Oh, uh, what, <laughs> what do you mean? She bought you that diamond? Oh, uh, no, she didn't. How do you get money to buy him diamonds? I mean, I see you got on your rollers, you got on your diamonds, you got on your cocoa. Wow, well, I was fine with that jam. So they gave you a check? They gave me a big check. Ooh. I bought a house. And he was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be fine. This for now, I think it's okay. I guess Miss Cena deserves somebody that can handle her business. For right now, we'll live it as that. You know, I'm looking at it like, damn, I'm in love, man. How you fall in love so fast? This is oh. different this time. Bro, you said you was in love before. You love me? I do love you. I can see wedding bells here. You think so, baby? Wedding bells? This is my first time meeting you, and you seem like a nice girl, but I got my eyes on you. Okay. He's family. Yeah. Want nobody to break your heart? I love him because I love my husband, and my husband loves him. I really respect y'all's bond and the marriage. Although my bro didn't invite me to the wedding. Y'all married. Yes. June 29th. You know, we went by ourselves. It was at the courthouse. Oh, okay. I still want to do a big wedding because I want the parents to come. I want my kid. dad to be the minister. And your dad was upset, like, I can't believe y'all didn't let me marry y'all. My pops is an ordained minister, and he felt some type of way that we didn't let him officiate the wedding. So when we do the big white wedding, he's going to be our guy. How do you like the food, too? Food, amazing. Good. This is restaurant quality, please. You always want to go into business. What you think about, like, a lounge restaurant type thing? I mean, Atlanta's ready for that. They need that. Stevie and Zeno's. Nah. It should be Sleazy and Zeno's. Because Sleazy, that's what they see. Wait, wait. Sleazy and Zeno's, Bistro, and Bar. Oh. What, what the? That's 
That's crazy. That sounds pretty good. You get the biggest DJs and sound systems and like subwoofers. Oh, like, like, come on, like, we'll be the biggest thing in Atlanta. And if we got the best, baddest <laughs> bitches. Exactly. <laughs> your job to bring in the bad bitches. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, you are witnessing the birth of an empire. You know I love bringing in the paper, so opening the club with my dude is a no-brainer. Hey. Hey. Yo, Z, I appreciate you taking the time out. You know, oh, to have me, Jocelyn, come in here. Josh. She's, working, she's working real hard at this. Look at she, she wants don't. to show you her don't. pictures. You're looking and... beautiful, too. Yeah. Now nah, you've been doing your thing. You know why my husband is so sexy to me when he's handling business. I can't wait to sit down with Mancino and just give him my, all my ideas and just finally get this big spread on Hip Hop Weekly. I'm just excited. That's the cover right that's there. It. I mean, that's I the biggest that was, seller right there. Well, I thought that was one of our biggest sellers. Yeah, one of them. You know, they want to follow. They want to follow us. I'm kind of excited that Sleeves and Jocelyn are happy, but I'm about to slap that happy right out their face once I tell them about my meeting with Mimi and Dawn. I just want to bring up something. Okay. Right. No problem. All right. Dawn called me, had a little meeting with somebody about... Well, Dawn? Just, 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 just Dawn just, by herself? No. Uh, that's what was crazy. It was like... It was her Mimi. Rose and Blanche from the Golden Girls? All right. Just, you know, hold on. Just give me a minute. Talk. Let me explain what happened. When they came in, they brought the cover, they threw it down, and they said, we know that they're not married. Now, what I said wow. was, no, hold it. Of course, you know, come on. I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm sticking up. Absolutely. There's no question. Absolutely. I'm, I'm like, well, listen, Slee said they're married, so we did the cover based on that. Well, I know they're not married. They need to prove it. And I'm like, listen. We I'm all good. good. So now Dawn has got Mimi caught up in all this nonsense. They spreading lies about me and my wife. Yo, that's not a good look. Both of these old broads, these old hags need to go to the bingo hall and sit down somewhere, because I ain't got time for their lies or the accusations. Don and Mimi ain't never been well, friends their whole they, life. They brought, and, and now they all of a sudden it's messages says, and all kinds of God. And they're like, we're, we're gonna like, bring this to the blogs. And I'm like, whether they married, or if they're not, married. if they are, okay, I said that. You well, must you must like what they bring into it. because they're must... talking about going at Hip Hop Weekly we and the credibility about that. of the ma Hip Hop your Weekly is here to stay, baby. My man, my business partner, is sitting here with his wife, and they're just as surprised as I am. So, yo, as far as I'm concerned, if Sleeve says he's married, he's married. Just know that these people are gonna always be on y'all's asses to prove the marriage. Listen. They owe and they tie, and they ain't got else to do but worry about my marriage, worry about what the I got going on. We're gonna live this where it's at, and I'm ready to go. I don't give a damn about these tired ass bitches and their lives. Mimi the porn star need to go worry about her porn tape. And Don, you need to worry about going to find you another job. Because right now, you have no job. Right now, you're broke. You, you bring them hoes up to me one more time, and you and I are gonna have a pop. It's all good. You have a great day. All right. That's what you call a ass. <laughs> Now, I know I'm crazy sometimes, but everybody wants to know if Sleaze and Johnson are really married. So I set up a meeting with Sleazo, Mimi, and Dawn. I'm getting everybody in one room, and we gonna dead all these accusations. Crazy, yo. Sleaze. What's up with it, bro? Oh, man. Crazy, man. I agreed to meet with Mimi and Dawn because of my man, Zeno. I ain't got nothing to prove, but now that I'm a partner in the Hip Hop Weekly, when they come for the magazine, they coming for me. And I'm about to shut their Inspector Gadget asses down. Look, just between me and you, you and Jocelyn are married, right? Yes, absolutely. Right. Say no more. What the, what I wouldn't have brought it to you if it wasn't. No, like, just say no more. That's I, what I, 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 I would have put uh, our magazine on the line. That's what I told him. I, I, I told him friendship. I brought the blood on I know the line. that. I'm not putting no retraction. Okay. You and Jocelyn are married. Absolutely. And that's, and that. that's that. They have nothing. It's time for Benzino to be true to his word. I'm expecting that retraction. And I want to look Stevie right in his eye while he dances around the truth. I appreciate y'all coming. I think the whole premise of this meeting as far as, as adults, come to some type of conclusion that'll make everybody happy. I just want to get to the point. The point was, they don't believe the credibility of you and Jocelyn's marriage. It's a fraud. What date did he get married? You? I don't have nothing to prove to you. The issue came out when? I don't remember. I think it was August 1st. August 1st, which was the same day that he sent me the text message about the stunt he wanted to pull. I didn't see that. Oh, you didn't? No. Yeah, well, that, I mean, you know. What? That, 
Ms. Enoff, you have a household name to protect. And friendship. I am a household I, name. I doubt it. And it's part of my magazine. I doubt it. Can we please, honestly? I'm wondering why this is so important to Mimi. If I ain't know no better, I think she was still feeling the guy. What's the matter, baby? You mad I married Jocelyn instead of you? So what are we here for? You and your fake marriage. Clearly, I have no feelings for Stevie J. All I want is for both of them to be exposed for the frauds that they are. Hey, that's what you feel? That's you. Well, where's the certificate? They want to see the license? You want to see the license? First of all, Benzino, any state okay. has public records. That's through government. It's not through... Well, he has, he, he you must have You have to be something. married through the government. I'm sovereign. Huh? Sovereign. <laughs> sovereign? I'm a sovereign individual. Which means what? You don't have to go through what everyone else goes through? Yeah. I don't need anything from these ladies. I'm good. I'm my own government. I make my own laws. And Stevie J, we trust. Sleeve says he's married. Y'all say he not. So we reached that point. What else can we do? So we're just not gonna think about retracting the... If we lose readers behind it. Well, then, you know what I'm saying? Then that's the business. So you want to go around printing fake? What? He says he's married. What the did I say? He says a whole lot of that's bull. It's time to put a seal on this nonsense right here. I'm the truth. A1, the man. I'm going to ask you one more question. When did you get married? July 29th. Okay. June 29th. June or July? June. Who doesn't know their own wedding date? June 29th, July 29th, February 29th. That's all I need to know, that this marriage is a complete fraud. I think we need to leave. This yeah. is really not good is... for your health. Oh, yeah. gosh. Bye, okay. ladies. Yeah. Thanks for the drink. <laughs> oh, God. You gotta do your dance, now breathe. Ladies better choose a man. This is the day that Atlanta's been waiting for. The opening of Sleazy and Zeno's Bistro and Bar. The ladies are here, the bottles are popping. It's gonna be a night you will never forget. Everybody here, it's nothing but love. We are very humbled by this. Believe that. God bless all y'all. We gonna continue this. Absolutely. Me and Sleazy work real hard just so we can have everything ready on time. But we did it. It's hype. I'm feeling good. Smelling good. I mean, this is our night tonight. You like it? I like it. This is the night. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan. And you know what? He supports us, so we support him. Benzino? No, 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 no. Benzino! I don't know. No, I, I, don't ask. You know, trick. You know. Don't you know what? I can't fight. I like small. No, I do. Whatever floats you know. It's a motion out of ocean. I was, you know, I like small things. Zeno and I. We've had our moments, but no matter what, we're still friends, and I'm really proud of what Stevie and him have pulled off. And of course, I'm looking forward to seeing his new chick and seeing how she compares to Carly Red. Hey, Carly. Hey, hey. This is Althea, right, that's Carly, and that's Erica. Nice, nice to meet you. Right. Okay, she's all right. Oh, no, she's not all right. Nothing will ever compare to this package. This is so weird. <laughs> Awkward. has a past, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you're dating, you're dating someone too, man. Right? You got a new boo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. young job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, I know you, you had changed your telephone number. Does she have your new telephone number? Yes. I have every well, number. When you had, when you had, every number. Any number. Any and every number. No, number. but, but babe, that was the whole purpose of you changing the phone number was because they should go through me. Jocelyn just warned me about Carly. There should be no reason why this chick should be calling my man. And I'm gonna shut her down before there's even a problem. Did you tell somebody that you was missing the or something like that? Missing a who? Missing the <laughs> The only I'm missing is my man. Oh, okay. that is a <laughs> to miss. You trust oh, me, girl. Okay. <laughs> Where'd you get that from, by the way? I heard that you said that you was missing the for that. Because oh, Kurt told me. That. Where's Kurt? Let me go get Kurt. I'm gonna go get Kurt. Yo, where's Kurt? This Kirk got all twisted. Now I gotta straighten out two people. This bitch Alf and lying ass Kirk. You saw some this right here. She said she oh. wanna be back as he's present. Oh. I said I'm missing oh. the so you be back Which one is it? Oh. But not that I'm missing so. the so boo boo, you got it wrong. Okay. I would never miss the it was I don't gotta miss the, 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 the misses me. He don't miss you. He don't miss you.
you, baby. It's a wrap. It's over. Let that bitch know that I'm crazy. I'm His trifling ass girlfriend must have lost their damn minds. First, this bitch throws a drink on Carly. Well, hold up. Did that bitch throw a drink at me? Oh, hell yeah. Now you better remove my ass out of this club before I wipe the floor with this hoe and shut this club down. <laughs> Leave it to Carly Red to start some <laughs> At least Zeno had enough sense to kick her ass to the curb. I'm sitting in the VIP, drinking my champagne, being sexy, watching the whole party go on. All I see is bitches flying out the door, wigs flying in the air. Of course, Bencino's new girl is in the middle of everything. Bitch, I don't know who you think you are, but this is a family business. Either Bencino check you or Jocelyn Hernandez will check you. Party. Hi, baby. Mm, I ain't so tired no more. <laughs> I wine and um, oh, and you? cheese and crackers. Rashida really made me think about being completely honest with Benzino. And there's some things about my past that we never really talked about. So I'm gonna lay it all out there for Benzino and I'm gonna pray for the best. So what's tonight all about? I know I sling it good, but this is what you get. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is the reward. Mm. What's going on, baby? Well, well, I kind of wanted, I had a lot of stuff on my mind. About what? About us and... I mean, we going good. You say that you might marry me one day and... Yeah, I want, I mean, that's what's you like... You say man. that you're gonna give me a ring one day and everything and... Hey, you gonna put this fireplace up with some cheese and crackers. No, I just want to You ain't never did cheese and crackers yeah, just to like, what the f***? Like, what? Together. What you mean keep on? I've been keeping it 100. Okay. I haven't been keeping it 100? No, not really. Really? How? So, did you ever have a talk with Stevie that... Uh, you know, that he knew me and everything before prior no. to you. But you know that we did it one night, right? Way back in the beginning, Stevie called me and asked me to come to the studio, and Benzino was there. I assumed that Benzino knew what happened between me and Stevie, but maybe I was wrong. I don't want to feel like I'm getting played. I so you sitting happened. here admitting today, right now, that you and Stevie <laughs> around, but you telling me that I'm playing you? Because you knew certain things, and you don't address certain How things. What did I know about, okay. about you and Stevie? I didn't ask. It's like the army. Don't okay. ask, don't tell. There's been some girls that Althea knows that I've rocked with, and there's been some guys that I know that Thea's rocked with. One of the guys happened to be Stevie. Anything that is negative in my past, I put that shit in the trash and I wipe it out. The point is, is you guys are okay. best friends, and you guys are around each other every day, and I want everything laid out on the table. Another reason why I just wanted to talk about it, because we're always around Stevie and Jocelyn. And I feel like she knows, but she's just not saying anything. Any girl around f***ing Stevie, she thinks is f***ing. So how come when she came to the studio, she was like, I know something, I'm just waiting, you know, waiting for the right time. I'm like, like I just don't want to be in any awkward situations where I think that somebody might know something and then I'm like blinded to it. Whether I know or didn't know, I didn't want to think about it. But somebody that I'm trying to build my life with, we need to face it. Oh, I want to talk about man. it now because I feel like we, it's like we're suppressing it's something. Crazy. You should be happy that you have a good woman that wants what? everything out on the table. About? I have nothing Who to hide and I love you. Really? You know you wow. That. You gotta make sure that ass is tight. Jocelyn and all her muscles asked me to come work out with her. And it's a perfect time for me to tell her what I heard about Stevie and Althea. Uh, excuse me, Hothea. Uh, Get those movie parts. Uh, Jocelyn is gonna lose her mind. Hopefully, she don't start throwing barbells with all that muscles and testosterone she got around the gym. Kill your man uh, in that bed. Uh, <laughs> are you gonna ever take workout seriously? <laughs> I haven't heard from Stevie since he went to go look out for Benzino since his mother passed. I've been really been keeping myself busy, working out and doing my music. And I have to go meet with Carly at the gym to tell her ass what I found on Stevie's phone. I went through this phone, What bitch. did you find? Four different booty holes and cootie cat pictures. So you didn't bust him in his oh, face no, I didn't bust him in his face. I was like, so what the f 
Excuse me, though, with all these nasty ass pictures of booty hoes. Girl, he had the nerve to tell me those was not his bitches. It's a respect thing, Carly. At this point, he shouldn't be doing that. Like, how thirsty could you be? I decided to let it go. It's a decision for me as a grown woman. I just can't be packing up and leaving. I mean, I got a business with this man. It's a lot going on. Which means a lot going on. Well, Benzino's mom, she died. She passed away. His mom passed away. His mom away. passed away, girl. Well, I gotta call him. So, I hope he's so okay. Stevie went to go see him? Stevie went to go see him. He's out there. Him and his girlfriend is out there. Hosea, that's what I call her. Boy, that bitch is a hoe. No, she's definitely a hoe. She went with um, Stevie or she went with Benzino? Why would she go with Stevie? What? I'm just what? saying. Oh, no, bitch, what? The other day, I was at the nail shop with Erica, and she told me that Mimi told her that Althea and Stevie... Yeah. What? Well, how about this? She said Mimi had dropped the baby off, and she saw Althea there with basically nothing on. Where? At Stevie's house. You tell me she came to my house and she my Erica told me this. Dead ass. You know, when I hear this gossip or this truth or whatever it is, because I don't know what it is, it's coming from messy ass Mimi. First of all, at the end of the day, I know Mimi still want my dude. And not to mention that she don't believe the fact that we are married. So ain't no telling what this bitch is trying to do to stir up some in my household, whether it's truth or not. I'm gonna figure that out. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Because you know what? It came from bitches that I don't with. But I tell you what, Carly, I asked him, I said, you know this bitch? Because you know hoes get around. He like, oh no, I don't know her. Did he say he didn't know Listen, her? Listen, he said he didn't know her. Like he ain't never met the bitch before. And he met the bitch before. If he her, he better pray that that was good enough. Wait till he come back from out of town. What he think he's gonna come back to a happy woman because he left a happy woman, he gonna come back to a savage animal. See, what's the deal, bro? Please. What's going on, man? What's How you up, feeling? Man? How's everything, man? It's crazy. Yeah, my shit's still fed yeah. up. I see him. Um, out there in the hallway, and she gave me the key. The key. Yeah, 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 yeah. She went to go get the prescription. I had enough of Boston, but before I leave, I had to go check on my man Z, because yesterday he was talking crazy about me and Althea. It's <laughs> definitely good to see my man in better spirits today. And you know, it's even better to see old Titi hold him down. I know he's still hurting, losing his mom and being shot, but it's still good to see a smile on his face. This dude has been through it. You got a lot of cards, love all around the room, Yeah, baby. you never really so know how much kids. love you have till you get shot. Yeah, that's <laughs> crazy. The only good thing about all this is that Althea was there with me every step of the way. Like, she I, seems like she's the one for you, bro. You know it's, just, it's crazy because, you know, I wanted her to meet my mother, and she never got a chance. Me getting married, man, my mother, throughout my whole life, my mother seen him come and go, and yeah. it was like, you know what I mean? I just, yeah. you know what I'm saying? She never probably thought that I would Get married, man. Sleaze. I just was like, that's why, man. When you was, you know, when you came in there, I know I got emotional, but it's like before I, all this happened, she told me about the situation. You know what I'm saying with y'all two sleaze. I, come on, like she told me, look, you know, we messed around. It wasn't nothing crazy. It yeah, just was, you know. What I'm saying? A little bit, sleaze. We ain't never gonna talk about it again, man. I just wanna just move forward, get better, Listen. get back in the studio with you, man. Right. See, my thing is. We hung out, see, it was never nothing. I never had sex with her. And I just wanna just put this behind us, cause y'all happy, that's your soulmate. No matter how you slice and dice it, I didn't smash it. Flip it up, rub it down, put it up, put it down, side to side, I ain't smashed. I really haven't even spoken to Stevie since him and Jocelyn went to L.A. You know, this whole social media crap going back and forth is just, to me, it's nonsense. I definitely knew that Sleezo was gonna see the stuff I've been posting. I mean, at this point, I feel like he needs to know. What type of brother would I be if I really didn't let him know the truth about it? I just got back from L.A. and Zeno said he wanna meet up. One thing the dog father said that I need to do was tell Zeno the truth about what went down with me and Titi. What's the deal, Zeno? Slaves, what's the word? What else? But you know, the whole social media war that's going on with Titi and Jocelyn, and now even Zeno jumped in it, it's gotten completely out of hand. Thunderbird, how are you? I don't know who fired the first shot, but it's got to stop. You just gotta give us a few seconds, bro. And I'm wondering why Zeno putting himself in the middle of some female anyway. Y'all gotta clear the area. 
her and Thea, and you and her, and this and that on the Twitter and the Instagram. Oh, yes, yeah, please, look, I apologize no, for you that. you don't have to. I'm, I'm just saying, you. you got your reasons for whatever you do or however you do, but I let the girls handle that. We ain't got to be in I the middle. I don't want no violence. Yeah, yeah, they absolutely. don't need to it fight. No, it ain't no fighting. I'm not with Jocelyn, please. I'll handle that. You know what I'm saying? I was wrong to be twitting it because I, I got my emotions. I'm just trying to protect Thea. You know what I'm saying? But it's I, like, I at the end it. of the day, but even more than protecting Thea, it's like, I just want you to be happy. Z and I have been through a lot of ups and downs and all that, but when you cross that line, that's it. If somebody is your friend or your bro, they don't disrespect your loved one or your wife or your family and all that. That ain't bro moves, that's whole moves. Listen, I'm gonna put it into the once and for all. You know, some things was on my mind or whatever, and um, I just wanted to get it off my chest and, and, and let you know the truth about the whole situation. With, you know, Dia, it, it did happen one time. Man, Sleeves, look, man, I knew that, man. When I got with Thea, like, we started out, she kept it 100 with me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's just, like, Thea, she was like, I don't understand. I'm like, I do, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, he don't want to go through it with Jocelyn. Like, I get that. I feel better now that I, I, I finally got this over and done without my sister. Now I just got to tell her. I definitely didn't expect Sleeves to come down here and confess about Althea. I mean, he's been denying it this long. When I sat in that hotel room in Boston with him, he should have said it right there. At this point, he felt like, yeah, let me see say that I, I slept with Althea because Street's talking about Jocelyn sleeping with different men. And for some strange reason, he gets mad at me. Some real immature Man, like, you know, I was just at Curse Party. Yeah, oh like, yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, party. and um, then Tony came up to me, you know what I'm saying? He went out in the back, and then Tony's like, the Stevie's, that's Unc, like, I love him. Like, he was like, yo, but Jocelyn. Then he started saying about how she used to come on it was rich, like, to drive him. Now, he basically was just like, we used to go on the road, and me and Jocelyn used to, you know what I'm saying, get down. What do you mean, get down? What are you, what are you saying? He said that they... He said they had sex? For like three months, you know what I'm saying? I mean... Said that he had sex in, in the new crib with her. I don't believe it. Zeno got a lot to talk about, about Jocelyn creeping all around and all that. Cause you know, you delivering all this information, what is your motive? You know, I don't even believe this dude, but you know, I know I need to talk to somebody and Jocelyn's the person I need to talk to. I gotta drop it on her. That's what I'm doing after I leave here. I'm gonna go check her out. Face to face, you know what I'm saying? With you. all that, you know? And then once I see him face to face, we'll handle that. Stevie's trying to play it cool right now because he's embarrassed, point blank period. I refuse to sit back silently while Jocelyn makes him look like a fool and while she disrespects me and mine. I just can't. I said what I had to say to Sleezo, and he said what he had to say with me. I guess we're just gonna have to see what happens next. Securities. Don't do that with all these securities. Yo. Just do that out there. No, we do it right now. Yo. We can do it right now. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, man. Let's do it. Come on, bitch. I'm gonna shoot in your mouth, bitch. I did that. I did that, bitch. I did that. I did that, bitch. Yeah, what? Get the what? Yo, yo, what the f? Get off. What you cocaine? Yo, get what you cocaine? Yeah, yeah. Let me, no, no. Get off me. No. 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 No.
Just a short while ago, some of our cast members got into a physical altercation and the situation spiraled out of control. We had to release our audience and secure the stage. Even the police were called. Despite all the drama you see on TV, Love & Hip Hop does not condone the violence that results when the cast decides to take matters into their own hands. We did not expect things to escalate the way they did or as quickly. Just hours before the reunion show, Stevie J and Benzino went back and forth on Twitter in a serious war of words. Last night, Stevie J posted a very compromising picture of Althea. Then this morning, Benzino tweeted that Stevie J and Jocelyn were not really married and that he claimed to have proof. And that's where things were left before they saw each other for the first time right here on the stage. If you like that video, subscribe to VH1's 11 Hip Hop YouTube channel for more.